How you doing everybody, it's Jonathan again. Welcome back to more Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. In the last one, we met the Punil, and now we're gonna look up where we can find the tree. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> there can you see it, that big tree. That's what I was telling you about, that's where the punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us at the tree, lots of drabbies and piders too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Well, we don't know what it says. Follow him into the tree. Koops is not coming though, he is afraid of trees. Before I do anything, I'm gonna to want to go over here. Technically, I can do this later, but I'm doing it now because I want it now. Get FP plus, increase the max HP FP plus by five. I'm not gonna use that, but I want to mention it. Uh, oh no, what's the matter? Uh, well, take a look. The store wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't look so hard. Look at it. Take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What are we doing now? Uh. Um. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Um. Got it. Oh, I'm just gonna have to keep following him. Up the tree! A while ago, the community elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can't get in. We can get in through there. I'm really sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it's gonna be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not. <laughs> Not to be a worry word, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find it and remove the thingy. But by removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, I know an invisible one. Uh Oh, got it. Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's power can help us. Flurry is a fine and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The other says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow that thingy away. Well, I won't have to try. Floyd lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back to, uh, in the direction we came from. Alright, so now we have a new goal. Finding Floyd. Is there something over here? <laughs> and, uh, it kinda, I, th I thought I saw something, but no, I was wrong. I was mistaken. Uh, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world, yes indeed. <laughs> Building a house here was just the finest idea I did ever have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world, soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle the, crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. The moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage on me. Sure, I just want to be an actress for the ages. It's so then, I shall rise again, but before I make my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No, it's gone! Gone, I tell you, my, my... Well... So that happened. I mean, not that I saw it. I mean, Mario was here the whole time. He doesn't know what anything was going on over there. 
Anyway. Oh. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Blaze place in no time. For some reason I was thinking there was something back there, but no, there isn't. Also... No. I, was, I saw this, I just don't want it because I don't have room for it. Anyway, here is where we meet a new enemy. Wait, what? <laughs> How did that hit him? I messed up slash people leave. That's just how this works. Anyway, let's take it out of the cleft. And let's walk the Boombella. Be a tenderless thing. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, I could have shown that before I do that. Let's tattle it. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. SP3 attack is 2 and defense is 0. Sometimes it charges itself with a trick, like, don't touch it when it does. Youch. You know what I mean? I'm Shocking. After charging itself, it totally zap you with lightning. Be as fast as you can. Uh, well, I only have one way of doing that, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I do. I will have to use Eftrana. It's kind of a waste, it's only the one enemy, but I don't have another option. But I think I hit by nothing. But to be fair, I could probably survive. I have no chance to get. <laughs> but they have perfect timing. Now, I'm usually pretty bad at this, so I don't know how it's gonna go. Oh, I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> the timing line's a little more, a little hard, more different than you would think it is. So. That's why I try to keep in mind whatever I use that. There's another one here. But I miss it. <laughs> Some stylish on that. Goombella, go ahead and take that one out. And I only have to power smash this one. Don't charge up your electricity. I was just saying I got that stylish. I don't know how I did that. Oh. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Not who I thought you were going for. Oh. And because we got that, uh... The, I guess, curse is called, even though I don't think that's what the said. We got a special course, as she called it. That has multiple effects you can do in battle. The one effect, as you just saw, it will increase the attack power of your moves. Yeah, it doesn't have random, so you can never, never guarantee. Don't, don't try and rely on it too much. But it is a helpful to have, so you should still get it. And I'm gonna go hit this. To raise up that platform. There's a star base. I'm gonna go ahead and search up poop because I don't think we're gonna see any new enemies for a bit yet. I don't think we're actually gonna see too many enemies right now either, but just in case we do. Also, there's this Shine Sprite. <laughs> Swan Pass. Get a badge right here. Don't fall off. Quick hammer. <laughs> Clay damage is all ground enemies. There's also another type of enemy it will work on, but I'll get into those when we see them. We won't see them for a while. Am I not jumping at you? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and switch.
Yeah, let's pick back up. I don't want you to use item. <laughs> I'm just going to take you immediately. This ball is going to get out. What I'm talking up with. Some coins. Yeah, I think if I hit this. Yes, stoppies. I mean, it's not like I wasn't totally going to hit all the... Look, look, there are missions. <laughs> that's what I was telling you about. Oh, that's, that's beauty. I thought that was Koops. Like, Koops, how do you know that? <laughs> I'll go ahead and hit this. Actually, wasn't I? Oh, no, I was Oh, I saw I could. I didn't mean to, to hit you like that. Uh, yeah. Vulture over here. I can hit this tree. Yeah, that's another thing there. And got a pipe over here, but also a star piece over here. the background and into this house uh excuse me well maybe she isn't here I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods maybe she did maybe she didn't Madame Fleury hello if you're here say something eek no, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madame Fleury, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I, last, I saw you last, you poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us, us with, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hall is locked. There's a stupid door we can't seem to move. My puny, Emma's, my puny friends are inside, so I'm a pickle, and Maya needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find a secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little puny, oh, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I, can't just, I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never grew up without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my dirty constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me about it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz, that must be some nice necklace, huh? Hang on. You know what? It's weird, but I, I'm i sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please be a dear, find it and bring it back to me. If you could, I'd be delighted to help my squished little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry, I'm sure Maya can find a neck go necklace. Where is he super? He's like, who told you that? <laughs> you can do it, right, Mario? <laughs> uh, nah, sure. Oh, oh. Greatest desire then. Let's go find it. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you so. I'm sure you are, madam. I'm sure you are. <laughs> and we already know where they are, so I'm just gonna cut ahead to where we get them. Or not. Well, then I told you, blame me for losing the sketch, and you had it. Silence, you twit. Now's not the time to get hang up on stupid details. We must study the sketch. Wow, this Maya guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. Really? <laughs> you know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. I don't know what that was. He's missed a mustache. Goo goo. Gosh, I can't believe this, Didion. This is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be letting out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the. Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude of me. 
This is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of turning it blue, but no more! Aww. And since you caused the problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mayo Chump. Good, good. Anyway, now I'm gonna be cutting kind of ahead too when we get back to them. Oh, they're off. No. No. Stop it. Okay. We're back here. Just so you know, on the way back, I got hit by multiple enemies. <laughs> Gained some more coins and F S I star points. I was at FP. <laughs> uh. So, we're probably going to have this fight. <laughs> uh, and also, I should probably have Goombella out so I can tattle them. Anyway, <laughs> I was only uh, one step away. Well, let's admire you. Shiny mustache on, no, you cannot be. You can't be too bright if you came here playing for us. Wait, <laughs> do you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had that. Wait a minute. What? You've been waiting for a mile? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? Mwee! I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? Mwee! Those are secret names are often disappointing, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are. The three. Shadow Beauties. The three Shadow Beauties. Give me a new nincompoop. What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens. I don't see three beauties, I see two, but then there's you, and you're plug ugly. Oh, uh, right, just, I'm sorry, you just always call us lovely Zen. Age of the figure of speech. Oh, you got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's all later, though. First, we have to deal with his death, Maya, and his friends. First, we have my lovely old brother, my lovely and ugly, Marilyn Vivian. The night of three shadows, Irons will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. Goo! It's most unlikely that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Gah. Yes, sis. Can't play this fight. So, starting off, let's tell Vivian. That's Vivian. She's the youngest of the three Shadow Sirens. My FP 10 attack is 1 defense 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she's it's kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I guess. But uh, what am I thinking? I know you thinking. Also, there is something about Vivian I haven't talked about yet. I, I don't know, like I just forgot to talk about it. In the Japan in the Japanese version of this game, Vivian was a boy. I like I mentioned it. I'll probably never talk about it again, because it doesn't really do me anything. I mess it up. <laughs> I said I'll that one. <laughs> I've done that one. Man, looks that old Marilyn. That's Marilyn. She's a Shadow Seven, Billum's youngest sister. My SP 12 attack is 2 and nothing is 0. She charges up her attacks occasionally. Since here she has a of sister, so it might be best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. Alright, well, I'm a little power smash. That's gonna take it out in a row. I messed it up. <laughs> I don't smash that up. Oh, she charged. Oh no, okay, uh, now we got a bit of a problem. Let's title build them. 
That's Beldum, she's the oldest sister to the leader of the Shadow Sirens. My HP is 9, attack is 1, and defense is 0. But the wizard attack has an attack of 2. She can make her partners big and make us tiny, and attacks with her weird magic. The worst thing about her is a sinister little snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you would want to avoid, like the plague, you know? I don't know. Can I swap you? <laughs> Thank you. You can hit coops. You have a can. <laughs> oh, either. that's not too much. Oh dear. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and try a nerf tremor. Just to see if I can do it. I may not talk. You can instead hear my button click. I somehow did that. I honestly thought I messed it up, but I did not. <coughs> Take out Vivian. Sorry, sis. Hey, no. I saw the can. I don't want the can. Uh, you know what? Let's draw a shell shield. Press A with the proper timing. Oh, that's what you got. I don't know the stylish on that. Ah, get out of my thought, Mr. Mustache. I guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? Ow! So as you saw there, Mario didn't actually take any damage. Coop Star, is it? Uh, let's go for a power smash. Let's not mess it up this time. I messed it up. Well, actually, no, I didn't, but I messed up the stylish. Which is just as bad. Good gear. Hey, no. Uh, I can't see what's being thrown. Oh, it was Luigi. <laughs> you know, Luigi was throwing hot. What was I gonna throw? What I said it sounded like. I, who's throwing things now? No, I don't want your can. <laughs> Jump on her. Uh, that sounded very bad. <laughs> nice wrap it up. <clears throat> ah! Level up? I think... Yeah, BP. I still don't really feel the need for HP. We have Shell Shell now, so we can take even less damage. Mwek! <laughs> Ooh, maybe we're just a touch, touch of a confident. Man and Vivian, you know I'm sweet, what if one of you two pulled your weight? What you prepare for a world class part of the session when we get home? Oh yes, okay, bye. And with that, we got a necklace. If I didn't move there, Mario would have just been very pissed at that necklace. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. We will do that, and I will meet you back when we get there. Because it's the same thing again. Oh, God. Alright, now that we're back here, let's go give her the necklace. Oh, he's alive, old fellow. You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still don't see me. Please, leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, yeah. oh splendid, splendid. Oh, my oh so ravishing <laughs> necklace. I'm washing joy. Oh, oh my word, Mayu is it? Are oh, you my hippie boy, little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 are oh, you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I said we must thank you for your graciousness. But how do it? Hmm, first as I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar. Here I come, handsome, time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. 
Oh god, she kissed my throat! Oh god, she... That, that's my weakness, kissing his shoe. Oh my, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of all by the low lives in Worldport? Hmm. A danger filled and search for beautiful jewels? How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Flurry, join your party. <clears throat> Flurry's ability, a primer. Press X and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of winds that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold an X to make Flurry exhale continuously. She can also do a body slam battle squashing enemies with her stage presence. She can also do eight Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. <laughs> and even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the great tree. And we will do that in the next one. So, next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. We're hanging a boggly tree with Flurry and Toe. See you guys then.